Good morning, everybody. I'm in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I just unloaded my load that I picked up in Minneapolis. Now I'm gonna head to Kenora to grab a load that's going back down to Minnesota. It's about two hours east of here. I'm gonna go grab that load, tarp it, start heading south again. Plus 
that 14 cents that's supposed to be on there because of the fuel tax. When the fuel tax comes back on, I think it's supposed to come back on next quarter, but that add an extra 14 cents on then. So even without our provincial fuel tax, we're sitting at $1.40 a liter now with discounts. It's actually higher than that, but we get discounts through our fuel cards. And the US is still sitting at $1.28. So guess what? I'm not fueling up here. I'm taking my business down to the US and I'm giving them my money.
parked here at Walmart in Fort Francis, Ontario, just before we get to the border. Just quickly stop in here to check my load. I'm a little bit nervous uh, because of this up here on both sides. That is a sharp, pointy edge. And I forgot to put protection under there. Always use protection. So far it's looking good, it's not ripping. I put protection under this edge up here because I knew this would be flapping a little bit. See, I got this strap on here to stop this tarp from flapping here. It's still flapping a little bit, which is expected, so I put protection in there. So that's not gonna rip through my tarp. So I also put protection on the corners here on the edge and on those corners up there. So the whole back of the load here, all these corners are all protected. This one up here as well. That's not gonna rip through. There's a nice soft piece underneath there. Ah, I should have, this is still flapping more than I'd like it to, but it is being held down. I might have to readjust that, that strap. But whatever, at least the corners aren't gonna rip through. But on this side as well, see this side, you can see that. I should have put some protection under there. I'm really worried about that. These are my brand new tarps. Up here, I'm not worried about. It's this here. It should be good. It should be good. I noticed that before I left and I made the decision just to leave it because I don't think It'll be a problem, but uh, at least I hope it's not going to be. It's a little bit of an odd shaped load. Let's see it from here. A little different than usual. Yeah, I'm going to just hope and pray that that doesn't rip through in that corner there. Like I said, I think we'll be fine. If I didn't think we'd be fine, I would have fixed it already. I'm just keeping an eye on it. Next time, put protection, Josh. That's it, folks. That's it for today. We gotta call it a day. I made it to Deer River. Make sure my doors are locked. Those should always be locked. Not that it, because I'm in Deer River, just because it's the way I said that, and I, I get it. <laughs> Deer River's a nice town. I don't. Not not locking my doors because I'm in Deer River. Locking my doors because I like to lock my doors all the time, regardless of where I am. But I'm going to spend the night here. I was going to go all the way down to uh, Brainerd, but I'm just getting tired. It's just about midnight. It's late in the day already, or late in the night. And Oh boy, I'm not going to get unloaded any faster if I sleep there. I can just start from here in the morning, go there, get unloaded. I'll be empty at the same time. It's only an hour from here, an hour and a half or so from here. So it's not going to take anything out of my day. And I don't have a reload yet. I don't know where my reload's going to be or if I have one. Tomorrow is Thursday. So 
hopefully I'll get reloaded sometime tomorrow afternoon and then I can be home on Friday. That'd be perfect. So we'll find out tomorrow. I hope you join me. Thanks for hanging out today. I appreciate it. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Just go down below the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. I've heard from a couple of people that they somehow got unsubscribed. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I've heard other YouTubers talking about it. I don't know if that's just a way. I always thought that that was just a way for them to go and like get you to subscribe to their channels. That's not what I'm trying to... I heard that it actually happened to a couple of followers of mine. They got unsubscribed. So just go down below. Make sure you are subscribed. It's it's free. So there's that. It's just you got to go down there and just click the subscribe button. And then uh, hit that bell if you want to. Then you don't miss my next video, which will be up tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time. If you want to take it one step further, you've been watching me for a while and you like what we do and uh, want to support us one step further, you can click the Join Now button to become a member uh, for like five bucks a month or so. You uh, get early access to all my videos. And right now when I'm filming this, there's the next five videos already up on the internet uh, for the members to watch. So thank you to all you members out there. I salute you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And to everyone else out there as well, the best way you can support me, which doesn't cost anything, like I said, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down below, helps with the algorithm, and hit that thumbs up button. And then go and watch some more of my videos. Go to my playlist. I have thousands, literally thousands of videos. You can watch them all in the right order if you go to my playlists, and then you can start right from the beginning and catch up to the present day. Lots to catch up on. We're on video... 3,051 or something today. Since I started keeping track, there's more before that yet. But I'm babbling. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Stay safe out there and drive safe, please.